Today at Manchester Theatres, I am silently whooping inside because I am here with one of my favourite actors and performers, Tom Chambers, who is currently touring with Murder in the Dark, a psychological ghost thriller that is coming to the Lowry from the 23rd of January, and it promises to be a night that you won't forget. Now, Tom has worked extensively across TV, stage and radio, famously recreating um, the Fred Astaire tap dance drum kit thing from Damsel in Distress. The casting people at Holbit picked that up. He was cast as Sam Strachan in Holbit and the rest, as they say, is history. He has gone on to perform in Casualty, Waterloo Road, Father Brown and of course won Strictly Come Dancing. On stage, he has been in shows such as Top Hat, Crazy For You, White Christmas, Dial M For Murder, and you can catch him with his radio show with Mellow Magic every Saturday morning. But today, we're here to talk all about Original Theatre's production of the new Tarbon Betts play, Murder in the Dark. So thank you for joining us from the train station, Tom. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> thank you for having me. Yes, I'm actually on my way into work, into rehearsals, because we're just starting out again. And uh, so uh, the tubes are a bit delayed, a bit late. And I thought, well, I'll just get off and I'll just talk to you on the platform. I mean, uh, so here we are at um, Earl's Court. Uh, and uh, hello, good morning. How hello. are you? Well, we very much appreciate it. So I've got a feeling with this play, it's going to be one of them where because it is this spine tingling ghost story and it's been described as a theatrical experience like no other, there's going to be a lot that you can't really tell us without giving stuff away. But can you tell us about the story, maybe? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, it is quite fascinating because we didn't quite know what we were doing when we started. The writing by Torben Betts is so fast, so quick, and you don't quite know who's going to be talking next and where it's going and whether it's real or surreal sort of universe that we're in because really it's a it's a psychological thriller most some people get it confused with a murder mystery and it's not it's actually a, a ghost story slash dark comedy very funny Sue's Susie Blake uh, from um, Victoria Wood um, of those uh, television days she's absolutely I mean it's basically the Mrs Bateman show um, <laughs> it's so it's a dysfunctional family as well don't know what that means because uh, we've never heard of dysfunctional no. families have we <laughs> not at all um so it is um sort of like uh, it's new year's eve and uh we've just been to a funeral for the mother our mother uh crash the car get picked up by this um lady farmer brought into this little cottage uh and then and then it unravels with the family a bit and it all gets you start to see the mechanics of in between the relationships of the family and then all sorts of weird things start happening and you can't quite work out who's doing what, where, when and how. So it's been really genuinely thrilling um, yeah. to have been a part of it because um, to begin with, we were just like racking our heads. Like, I don't know. I don't understand this. I don't know how it's, I, uh, you know, so we've had a few audience members who have said they, they have to come back more than once because once they know there's a big, two big plot twists at the end so if you do come and see it please don't give it away to anyone else but yeah. they've come back to see it and well, having known they come back and it's a bit like um that film memento when once you know the information you can go yeah. back and see it all over again you, yeah you're watching it completely differently and you start noticing ah oh, that's what that was and <laughs> yes exactly yeah. So um, you I, I guess with this kind of thing then with it being this psychological thriller you kind of there's an anticipation around it. So as audience members, you know, you, you're already coming, playing that game with fear and kind of coming in a, a, a sense of heightened anticipation already. I mean, we must be playing right into the hands of what you need for, for us to be like. Uh, well, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it is. Ju sorry, a tube's just arrived. So Apologise for the it's noise. All right. We'll say hello to everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, hopefully, not too many people getting off while I'm <laughs> not that many. Um, yes, it's it, it is really uh, it's it's a very. Th I think theatre is so rewarding in the fact that um, we are a we are really a herd species, and uh, when you actually watch th watch things together, it's a much better experience. It's great when you're at home and you can just watch things when you want. But going to a theatre is so magical. It's it's such a a, a, a nourishing, rich warm experience because you the way you react to 
things and you see other people reacting to things in exactly the same way i think the, the blessing is that it makes you realize you're not alone yeah uh, and that's a wonderful thing when we realize we're not alone we're all very very similar on many levels individual but similar um and uh, so yeah seeing the audience's reaction is it's really it, yeah it's um I, I never know how people are going to really respond uh, necessarily because it is so unique, so so different. Um, but I know that they, they, they laugh. I mean, that's that's the great thing for us when we didn't really know until we got in it in front of an audience, and that kind of shapes it for us. And you suddenly realise, oh, this is a this is a dark comedy. This is <laughs> this is just laughing all the way through, but then suddenly having jump scares, suddenly being scared, then going into laughter, and then. It's it's just yeah it's amazing. There's sort of tears uh, as well. There's emotion within the family, and then suddenly it jumps and does something else. So it's um a little bit bonkers, but in a good way. <laughs> it sounds brilliant. And your character, you're playing Danny, who is this kind of ex boy band, famous singer type person. Um, but he's got his own demons going on as well. So what can you tell us about him? Uh, yeah, Danny has had a life where he's had his 15 minutes of fame and uh, it went to his head. Uh, you see, the, the types of people where it goes to the head and the types it doesn't. And unfortunately, it went to Danny's head, lived a life of Riley, was, you know, kind of flying around the world. And, and you don't obviously see any of this, but it's just about on reflection that he realises all the mistakes he's made in his life. And uh, therefore, the dysfunctional family is between... Sorry, another tube turning up. It's between his uh, his son, his uh, his wife, or rather ex wife, and his girlfriend, and it's just it's kind of like his conscience, his conscience, uh -huh. and he's 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 hoping to um, after his mother's funeral, he's really hoping to kind of patch up, make amends, and uh, kind of reconnect with uh, his family. Yeah, <laughs> but. That's when it's um, it go well. That's when I don't want to. I can't. I can't say. Oh. But it's yeah. It's uh really immensely interesting. That's when the proverbial hits the fan. <laughs> yeah, and it's just yeah. It's just really yeah. It's very. It's very. It's it's a wonderful sort of yeah. It's a empathetic experience, but then also just bizarrely dark and funny. So you've mentioned this is um, obviously when when you first got it, you were all like, "Whoa, what what is this? What's going on?" It's a new play, um, as we've said by Todd and Betts, and because like the cast and the creatives, everyone are creating something from scratch, a brand new performance. Is there kind of a roller coaster for all of you in that? Of whoa, this is such an honor. This is really exciting. To what are we doing? Yes, <laughs> like, it, it the is really exciting such an honor to be part of something that's brand new never been done before it's a world first you know world premiere um because they're all all new things i mean we love things uh from the past that we know um have stood the test of time and we we really enjoy seeing new productions of old shows but um but to be part of something new when it's it's exciting that it's a mystery as to whether it's going to be a hit or not. And um, we, we've been pleasantly surprised that the audiences have absolutely loved it. Uh, so that's a great relief because you also don't really want to be part of something that's um, <laughs> a complete, complete flop. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it, it is it is uh, nerve wracking, but, but um, exciting at the same time. And the sets and the lighting for this, I've heard that they're almost like a character in themselves because they're so intrinsically linked and important to what's going on. Um, I, I know you're not going to be able to tell us anything without kind of giving it away, but is there like magic and illusion involved? Are we plunged into the dark? Yeah, I, I think it's um, it's not kind of smoke and mirrors. It's not too much, magic, but it's very seamless. It's kind of like... Um, as sort of a painting artwork of um, just how it blends and merges from one thing to another. And um, yeah, there's, there's kind of um, there's secret sort of uh, things <laughs> going on within the set uh, that you're unaware of until it happens. So it's thrilling for an audience. And again, for the reaction as, as to there's a few um, reactions from the audience on um on the Instagram, Murder in the Dark um, Instagram page, 
uh, so you can see some of the reactions that the audience have had and it's wild it's like a theme park kind of <laughs> wildness um depending on the demographic of the people who are in because i think that particular night we had a uh, quite a few um uh, young a younger crowd in who were probably heightened to being jump scared um but yeah i i think for me the, the most wonderful thing has been the kind of the uh you can hear the audience really really listening and like a pin drop um, but then I just love the laughter when we're doing something so serious and, and sort of emotional or or trying to make amends and, and the audience are laughing. I think that's great. It's such a juxtaposition. It's such a contrast to how you think it's going to go. And I think that is one of the because it is this psychological ghost thriller, as you've said. But then for me, like Victoria Woods, one of my iconic heroes, I just love her. And. So to know that Susie Blake is in this and knowing that yeah. she's going to be bringing that humour, I, I mean, that is as much a pull as anything for, for like a generation of people. Um, I, I, she's brilliant. I, she's like a songbird. She's absolutely amazing. I, I'm, I'm, she's the youngest 73-year-old I've ever <laughs> met. You should, you should come and watch just to see her and see how, oh, God, it's like she's floating and, and dancing with her voice. It's, a, it's brilliant. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. And your character is a singer, and we know obviously you've got um, a gorgeous voice. Do you kind of sing anything in this at all? Or um, well, you know, we we I've, I mean, it's not a big thing, but yes, my my brother and I in in the story, uh, my brother was also a singer. We were in a we did a we were a duet together until Danny ditched him and joined a, another band, which is why there's some um yeah. the banks between them uh, but we do pick up the guitar and have a, a a very small little sort of song together which he good. wrote yeah yeah good. so there's a little bit a little bit yes Tiny bit, bit. yeah oh good and just before i let you go um my confession is that I, I jump at anything. I, I don't do well with scary stuff. I am coming to watch it, but I just need a little bit of preparation. Do like on a scale of one to kind of squeaky bum time, do, do I need to bring my teddy bear? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, bring someone to hold on to. Just yeah. or yes, it, it just uh, either um or just tell the person next to you, um, if I grab your arm, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yes, definitely. Um, yes, bring 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 something uh, just slightly um, comforting. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you so so much for taking the time to chat with us on the train station. <laughs> it's You're so really, well. Really, yeah, really appreciate it. And the intrigue around this show is just fascinating. So I guess the only thing left is for people to book the tickets. Come along. It would be lovely to see you. You are. You would be in for an absolute treat that you just don't realise is going to happen. I, I, it really is. It's yeah, a joy. And, and see how afraid you are of the dark as well, I guess. Um, Tom, <laughs> thank you so, so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you at the Lowry from the 23rd of January. Not long to go. Um, and all the best with the rest of the tours and your rehearsals today. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having me. You've always been afraid of the dark. You've never been any kind of dad to me. Coming, ready or not.